Hi everyone. Today I will be demonstrating how to integrate Flurry Analytics within your Swift applications using bridging header files to import Objective-C code alongside your Swift code. So to begin, we'll open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. We'll be building a single view application. We'll hit next and we'll give this project a name. I'll call it demo. And we'll make sure that we have the Swift programming language selected. I'll save this project to my desktop. And here we go. So first off, we're going to bring in the Flurry SDK into our application. So here we'll click Demo, and the top we'll click File, Add Files to Demo, and the first file we'll add is flurry.h. Make sure that under Destination you have Copy Items if needed checked. All right, let's add that file to our project. And the last file we need to add is libflurry 6.5.0.a. This version may differ depending on the SDK you are trying to integrate. So let's go ahead and add that in. All right. Next up, we'll click the root of our project, and we'll go over to build phases. Down where we see link binary with libraries, we're going to expand this and hit the plus sign. So here we're going to add any frameworks or libraries that Flurry needs to work with. So the first of those libraries is libz.dylib followed by security framework, followed by add support framework. Next up is core graphics, followed by foundation that framework, media player that framework, store kit that framework, UIKit.framework, and last but not least, system configuration.framework. So before we can use any of Flurry's methods within our Swift code, we need to create what's called a Swift bridging header file, which will allow us to use those Objective-C methods. So we're going to click our demo folder. On the top, we'll click File, New, File. On the top, under iOS, we'll click Source. On the right-hand side, we'll click Header File and hit Next. We'll be prompted to name our heading fo header file, which we'll call demo bridging header.h, where demo is the name that you've chosen for your project, and hit create. In this file, we'll simply import our flurry header file, flurry.h, and there we go. The last step we need to do is we need to inform the Swift compiler where to find this bridging header. So once again, within the root of our project, we'll go over to build settings on the right hand side. In the search bar, search for Swift Compiler. And under the Swift Compiler Code Generation section, we see down here Objective-C Bridging Header. On that same line on the right-hand side, double-click and you'll be prompted to input the path of that file. So that's located in Demo, Bridging, Demo, Bridging, Header.h. OK. Now within our app delicate.swift, if we begin typing Flurry, we notice that the Xcode IDE now recognizes all of Flurry's methods within its header file. So we successfully imported Objective-C code to use alongside our Swift code. Now to use Flurry Analytics, it's as simple as typing in flurry.startsession and providing the API key which you received when you registered your application on Flurry's SDK site. Thanks for watching and hope this was helpful. Thank you.